Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, Dan and Laura have a sweet little baby angel. She blesses them with things like a million dollars in their bank account and makes the people of Brookhaven so happy. But as a teenager, she meets a boy demon and it changes everything. Will the angel marry the demon? Will they have a baby? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and leave a comment for us in the comment section below. We read all of your comments, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I keep eating these donuts, but I never feel full. <laughs> Dan, are you okay? Um, well, not really. I, I'm just freaking out. What? Why? This leftover pizza is delicious. Can you stop eating for one second? Tell that to the baby. The baby keeps telling me you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. At one o'clock in the morning, at three o'clock in the morning, at five in the morning, I'm getting up all night long to eat the weirdest things like peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Ew, gross. I know, right? So what are you stressed about, Dan? You could tell me why I'm eating this donut. Well, the nursery isn't built yet. I mean, I've been working on it really hard, but the crib's not quite done yet because I accidentally put it together wrong and it fell apart. Oopsie. Oh, Dan, seriously? Sorry, I've never put together a crib before. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. But it's almost time for the baby and, and, and I'm freaking out now. Everything's done. <laughs> uh, Dan? Correction. It's not almost time for the baby. It's time right now! Wait, what? <laughs> Dan, wake up! I need another donut. And also, a ride to the hospital. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a dad soon! Okay, don't panic, don't panic. I'm not panicking, Dan. You are. Okay, I'm telling myself not to panic. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic! <sighs> I may not have the crib built, but I did have our overnight bag packed. Oh wow, Dan, you're so prepared. All I've done today is eat a box of donuts and an entire thing of pizza. Oh, don't worry. After the baby comes, you probably won't be as hungry. Jeepers, I hope so. <sighs> I bet this bus will be big enough to fit all the baby gear in. <laughs> Plus, it's extremely safe and it doesn't have a lot of bumps when you drive it. What are you... Did you seriously just charter a bus? Yeah, I want to make sure we can fit all of our baby gear inside. Dan, we don't need that much baby gear. Come on, Laura! You don't want to have the baby right here in the street, do you? Well, not really. Come on, get inside! Buckle your seatbelt! Here goes nothing! Dan, make sure you're driving safe! Dan, slow down! We're here! Okay, Laura, just take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm trying. Laura, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. I think. Here, I've got a stretcher. Hop on! Dan, I hope you can drive this stretcher better than you can drive that giant bus. Excuse me. Excuse me. My, 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 my wife needs your help. Uh, okay. What can I do for you? She's, she's about to have a, a puppy. A puppy? Dan, are you feeling okay? I mean, a baby. Oh, I was going to say, if she was having a puppy, she'd need to go to the veterinarian. <laughs> I don't deliver puppies here. He's, he's just losing his mind right now, doctor. I'm having a baby, not a puppy. Okay, why don't you go into exam room one and get comfortable? Really, get comfortable? But isn't the baby gonna come right now? Um, by the look of your wife, she has about 30 minutes. Oh, okay, 30 minutes, yeah. Oh, everything should be fine. Dan, deep breaths. Oh no, here comes a first time dad. They're always the crazy ones. How are you feeling, Laura? I feel like I got run over by that bus. Ah! How are we?
we feeling, Laura? Everyone keeps asking me that, and I just want to tell you, not good! I want my baby out! Okay, well, let's take an ultrasound and make sure everything is going along smoothly, okay? Okay. <sighs> I can breathe, right? I can breathe. I hope you can, because if you can't, well, that would be bad. You'd die. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that, doctor! Laura, now you're freaking out. Just try to relax. How can I relax? I'm having a baby! It's going to be a wonderful time in your life, Laura. Now, okay, let's get you over to the exam room so we can do our ultrasound. I've had an ultrasound every single month of my pregnancy, so I know my baby's going to be healthy. And it's a girl! Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> little girls are the cutest! Well, little boys are cute, too. I've delivered thousands of babies. Whoa, I've never seen this before. I I've delivered... Uh, a thousand babies, and, 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 and th th this is, this is beyond me. I, I, I've never ever seen this before. Seen what, Doctor? This, this seems crazy to me. Oh my gosh, it's actually a boy instead of a girl, isn't it? Oh, this could be awesome. No, it's still a girl, right? Um, guys, it's still a girl, but it has, well, wings. Wings? Did you just say wings? Oh! Well, you didn't actually just say wings, did you? Um, yeah, I did. Your baby is a fairy or an angel or something. Oh my gosh! I, I can't believe this. Dan, wake up! Oh what? No, I can't. Too much craziness. Too much craziness. Laura, you're doing great. Your baby is almost here. Yay! I can't wait to meet my baby! This is the most amazing day ever! I'm gonna name her Molly. Oh, I love that name! Here she is! I'm just gonna wrap her up and her wings inside this blanket so they don't get cold. Seriously? She really does have wings? Yup, she sure does. Oh my gosh, is she a fairy or an angel? She's definitely a sweet little angel. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, CBS. I would like to report that I just helped a woman give birth to a baby angel. I'd love to be That's right. On the telegraph. First one in Brookhaven history. On the telegraph. I'd love to be on the TV program tonight. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Seven o'clock's great. Thanks. Okay. Well, your baby's very healthy. See, uh, I gotta go be on the news. What? Yeah. First time I've ever delivered an angel baby. I'm gonna be famous. She's gotta be the sweetest baby on the entire planet. Well, she is definitely the most unique. Dan, come over here and see your daughter. I'm a little nervous. I'm a dad. Yeah, but she's beautiful. Wow, she really is. Aww, let's take her home. Great idea, Dan. We're a family now. Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, I have to work two jobs just to pay for all the toddler stuff. Daddy, you're the best daddy in the world. Oh, thank you, baby angel Molly. Oh, I work so hard. Dad, don't, don't be stressed, Dad. Everything be okay. Oh, you're a sweet girl. I, I try to be. <laughs> mama, 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 mama. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, I'm just really tired right now, honey. What is it that you need? I hungry, I hungry, I hungry, I hungry, I hungry. Okay, well, dinner, dinner will be ready in like an hour. It took me a really long time to prepare it. In the meantime, while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go pay some bills. Hopefully we have enough in our bank account. We've been short almost every, every month, despite your dad and I working so much overtime. Oh, Mama, no worries, no worries, Mama. Oh, little Molly, you're so sweet. Yeah, I'm sweet. I know, you're an angel. Hmm, I am an angel. Okay, I do something nice. There, I use my angel power to make dinner. Mom, dinner's ready. What? Oh my gosh, I don't want to have a million dollars in the bank. I make a million dollars.
dollars for you. What? Baby Angel, you, you put a million dollars in our bank account? And I bet dinner real fast because I thought everyone's hungry. Oh my gosh! This is insane! Dada, wake up! Wake up! Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, you are amazing. I could get used to this. Oh, baby angel, that was so sweet of you. I took and stuffing like Thanksgiving. Oh, such a sweet girl. Wow, my first day of school. I can't believe it. I'm actually in kindergarten finally. This is super exciting. Hi, I I I'm Molly. Oh, great. It's a kindergartner. What do you want? Um, to be friends? Duh, a second grader cannot be friends with a kindergartner. And what's up with those giant wings? It's not Halloween. <laughs> they're ugly. What? No, they're not. They're my wings. I, I, I was born with them. My parents told me they're beautiful. Well, your parents totally lied. I think they're weird. Really? They are? Yeah, totally. And don't talk to me anymore because you're a kindergartner, so I cannot be seen with you or I'll look like a total loser. Wait, wait, we can be friends. Stop following me, loser. No, seriously, we, we can be friends. Hold on. I, I have magic. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm interested. What can you do for me, kindergartner? Um, well, maybe this would make you less grumpy. Wh what? What's on my back? It's an adorable little bear backpack. And it's full of super cute school supplies like pencils with little cute erasers on the top that are in the shapes of like animals and it even has a laptop inside seriously you did that for me yeah do you feel happy now actually yeah i kind of do awesome do you think we can be friends uh i don't know about all that but you did make me feel pretty happy cool and by the way I think your wings are really beautiful. I was just saying that to be mean. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for being honest. No problem. Sorry I was rude to you. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, I totally tur turned the bully's heart around. She's not a bully anymore. She's just really nice. Hey, guys. What's up? It's Angel Molly, and I'm making a super amazing TikTok for you today. Who just drove their motorcycle by so loud? Oh, that's so rude. I can't even make a TikTok now. Hey, what's up? Um, what's up is that I am trying to make a TikTok and... Wait a minute. Are you a demon? Are you an angel? Oh, uh, yuck. A demon. Oh, yuck. An angel. Except for the fact that you're, like, really pretty. Yeah, well... So what? You're a demon. Get away from me. Wait a minute. Are you the girl that makes all those amazing TikToks? You're like super smart and funny and stuff. What's your name, Molly? Yeah, that's me. You're a fan of my TikToks? Yeah, they're amazing. Wow, thanks. That's nice of you to say. No problem. You know, demons aren't all bad. Um, I beg to differ. How about you come to the ice cream shop with me, and I'll show you how demons can actually be nice. Well, I don't know. Come on, give me a chance. All right, fine. What's your name? My name's Luke. Hop on my motorcycle. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Nah, it's going to be so fun. Whee! <laughs> my wings are blowing in the breeze. Ow, you ran into that plant. Sorry, I'm still learning how to drive this thing. I noticed. So, uh, what's your favorite ice cream? I'll get you anything you want. Are you gonna steal it because you're a demon? No, but can you stop hitting me with your wings? They're huge! Well, you have wi wings too! Yeah, but my wings are really small. Yours keep smacking me in the head. Sorry, I can't help it. They're attached to me and basically, they go where I go. Yeah, I know what you mean. My wings, even though they're small, it's just like sometimes they get caught in my backpack and they get caught when I'm closing a door. Yeah, that's so annoying, right? Yeah, totally. 
So what kind of ice cream do you want? Mint chip is my favorite, but I think I'm gonna get bubble gum. Whoa! You're loaded! You have a ton of money! Yeah, I got a summer job. Doing what? Robbing banks? What? No, I'm actually working at the bank, making real money. Wow, you must be really smart. Yeah, almost as smart as you. I've seen your TikToks. Ah, thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. I hate to admit this, but I kind of think you're cool. Really? Do you think I'm handsome too? Um, let's not even go there. So that's a yes. <laughs> Are you going to eat an ice cream? Yup, chocolate. Mm, I like chocolate. I actually like all ice cream. Something told me that you might. <laughs> mm, this is so good. Well, thanks for the ice cream. Hey, um, if you're not busy, tomorrow night, do you uh, want to go on a date with me? Date with a demon? Uh... Oh, come on. Well... I guess I could. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell Luke the news. And we've only been married two years now though. Like, are we ready for this? Well, I'm at his job, so here goes nothing. Luke, uh, are you here? Molly, what are you doing here, wife? Well, husband, um, I have some news. Uh, what is it? I... I... I'm gonna have a baby! What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, this is... Amazing! Really? Oh, Luke! You didn't have to pass out! It's okay! I'm just so excited! Me too, Luke. Me too. This is gonna be so amazing! I can't agree more, Molly. I think we're gonna be great parents, even though, well, you're an angel and I'm a demon. I know, but... We love each other, so we're going to make the perfect family. Is it, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Oh my gosh, a son. But more importantly, is it an angel or, or a demon? Actually, it's just a regular human baby. Wait, what? H how did that happen? I don't know, but Luke... Maybe because I'm an angel and you're a demon. Wow, this is amazing. Can I hold my baby? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, he has my eyes. He has my smile. He's perfect. Congratulations, angel mommy and demon daddy. You have a perfectly healthy little boy. What are you going to name him? Um, I don't know. What, what about... I don't know. What do you think? Lucas sounds pretty good to me. Wow, I love that name. Hi, Lucas. Molly, I got here as soon as I could. Are you okay? Well, I don't think so. Not this time, Luke. What? Why? It's almost my time to leave this earth. What? No, you're an angel. You have to live forever. No, not even angels live forever, Luke. I've loved you forever. Even though you're missing half your teeth now, you're so old. I still love you. And I still think you're the most beautiful angel on the planet. Oh, thank you, Luke. Ugh, these old bones, though, they're ready to give up. No, don't say that, Molly. Don't, don't say that. Molly? Molly? Goodbye, Luke. I mean, I have our son, but I'm just, I can't live without you. You're my other half. Luke, Luke, Luke. M Molly, I I is that you? Ah, it is you. You look so young and different. What is this? Is this a hallucination? No, Luke. <laughs> Angels only change form when they die. Duh. <laughs> Just because we lost our human bodies doesn't mean that we're not still angels. I'll be your guardian angel now. Seriously? 
Yep, pretty much gonna follow you everywhere you go. And remind you to wash your socks and do the dishes. So you're like an annoying wife guardian angel. Exactly. Until you die, demon. And then we can be together forever again. Oh, I'm so glad you're my guardian angel. I didn't know what I would do without you. Me either, Luke. Me either. Just try to behave yourself, Molly. We're never going to get parents if you just keep being rude to everyone. I don't care about parents. I'm a demon. And I'm an angel and I can't believe I'm stuck with you as a sister. Well, <laughs> you could be thankful. Having a demon as a sister is amazing. I don't really think so. Hey, hamster, be quiet. Don't be rude to my hamster. Well, it was being rude to me. Ay, ay, ay. I heard that today new parents are going to come in. Yeah, and look at all these adorable babies. What are they going to do? Adopt toddlers like us? Yeah, of course they will, Molly. If you're good. Here they come now. <laughs> Time to be I'm a worst behavior. Laura, Laura, the, the, the nursery's in here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're adopting. I'm so excited. They told me that they had twins in here. Whoa, look at all these babies. Oh my gosh, look at that one with the wings. Oh, I think she's an angel. She's adorable. And look, she comes with a little hamster. Hey, I'm careful. And the hamster talks. Okay, that's awesome. You can adopt me. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you have a twin? Who, me? No, I don't have a twin. What? She's betrayed me? <gasps> that's okay. I don't need anybody. Oh, but the hospital staff said the little toddler had a twin. Wait a minute. I think it's... I think her twin is over there. What? No, you don't see anything over in the corner. Nope, just me. No, I definitely see another little kid over there. Come on, Laura. Let's go see. Oh. Hello. Uh, is she an angel? No! I'm a demon! <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm not sure that we were gonna adopt a demon. <laughs> That's good, because I don't need any parents. Actually, if you're a demon, I think you need the parents the most. Laura, come on. She really needs guidance. I don't know, Dan. A baby demon? And a baby angel, two for one heel. You, you can adapt us both. I don't want parents. Well, I think you really need some. Oh, my gosh. I, stop it. I don't want to ride piggyback on your back. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. Hey, can you give me a ride? You have wings. Uh, no. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, well, it's settled. You girls are getting adopted. And, well, Molly, even if you are a demon, you can still be our daughter. Wow, finally we got parents. My sister has tried to scare off every single set of parents in the entire universe. Huh, by doing what? Um, driving their car into the pond. What? Setting their house on fire. What? You know, just little things. Yeah, little things. Wait till you see what I'm really capable of now that I'm adopted. <laughs> First, I'm going to go in the x-ray machine. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Molly, get out of there. You're not supposed to be in there. I want to x-ray my wings. I've never seen that before. Molly! Oh, she's already causing trouble. Okay, little troublemaker. Come on. Oh, you got me out of there too soon. I didn't have time to x-ray my wings. Annoying. I can see this dad of mine is going to be on my tail constantly annoying me. Maybe I should run away. Yeah, that might be a good idea. What did you say? Nothing. But just stop moving so fast. Hey, there's my car. Okay, I'm in the car. Buckle your seatbelt. No. Molly. Okay. Quit being such a demon. These parents are going to give us back. Yeah, right. They seem to really like you. I don't think they'd sacrifice you to send me back. Well, for your sake, I hope so, Molly. I got all the paperwork. You're officially our daughters. That means we're in charge. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, girls. Let's celebrate with some ice cream. Ooh, I love ice cream. 
Ice cream is for angels. Do I look like an angel? But they have chocolate, vanilla, bubblegum, birthday cake, and mint chip. Ooh, mint chip. That sounds delicious. Be careful, demon. Your angel side is showing. No, it's not. I hate ice cream. I don't want any of this. I'm sitting over here by myself. Molly, won't you come sit with the rest of the family? Today's your adoption day. No. Well, see yourself, Molly. I got some delicious ice cream. Molly, come here, please. What? What? What do you want, Mom? Get some ice cream, Molly. Fine. Mm. Wow. Okay, this is pretty good. Hey, Angel, shove over. I can't help it. My wings are really big. Fine, you can sit on the inside. You wouldn't even want to be patient for five seconds. Oh, look, they're already fighting like there are kids. Yeah, <laughs> kind of crazy. Mm. This ice cream's pretty good. I guess having parents who buy you ice cream isn't so bad. Don't get the wrong idea, though, Molly. You'll still have to do chores and go to school. Oh, okay. And that sounds great. Where are you going, Molly? I just have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Time to get out of here. Parents are annoying. Oh, can I climb up this ladder? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm on my own. I'm free of that annoying angel sister of mine. Now I can go live wherever I want. Ooh, the haunted house in town. This seems like a perfect place for a demon to live. Now I'm going to make it super awesome in here. Ah, <sighs> Haunted home, haunted home. Molly, are you in here? It's really creepy, please answer. Oh my gosh, I've got to hide. Here comes that annoying dad guy. Molly, are you upstairs? Uh, it's, it's so creepy. Okay, I'm hiding behind the pillow so he won't see me. Molly, we miss you. We know we're not perfect parents, okay? But we still want you to be a part of our family, even if you are a demon. Whoa, I wonder if he really meant that. No one's ever said anything to me like that before. Everyone always wanted me to change. They never just wanted me to be who I was, which is a demon. Molly, are you in here? Um, I I'm up here. Molly, there you are. Your mom and I were so worried. Your sister could probably live without you right now, but whatever. We love you, even though you're a demon. Do you really? Because sometimes I do naughty things. I know, that's how baby demons are. But we're your parents, so we love you no matter what. Now, why don't you come live with us? Besides, this haunted house is creepy. I know, it's cool, right? Uh, maybe when you grow up, you can live by yourself in a haunted house. But for now, you have to come live at our house. And by the way, it's not haunted. Well, until you get there. And then it's sort of haunted because you're a demon. Okay, I, th I think you've got this all figured out, Dad. <laughs> totally. Now let's go home. Okay. I guess I got adopted today. Can't believe it. I always thought that no one would love me because I was a demon. Turns out, these parents are pretty cool.